home. It's where the heart is. But in eastern Kentucky, it's also where the coal is and the jobs were. About seven years ago, the industry that kept this part of the Appalachia thriving took a hit, leaving families rocked by a regional recession. Their exact words were, due to the decline in the coal market, we're going to have to let you go. And uh, suddenly I found myself in a place that I'd, I had no idea what to do. 2014 was when James uh, Johnson felt the blow, a decades-long coal truck supplier in Pikeville, left at a crossroad, move out or move on. One door closes, just make another door. <laughs> Johnson found a way to stay. Tells the computer that, okay, I need to use the Unity engine. And, From coal. To find the assertions. To coding, a change of pace for everyone in this room. They're all former coal workers. Going on four years later, we're still hanging in here. And Johnson's story isn't unique. It seems like everywhere you go in Pikeville, people are trying to find ways to survive outside of coal. I decided it was time for something different. Midnight to 8 a.m. is Harvey Maynard's new ship. I just do the rest of it in Bismarck's. After nine years down in the mines, Maynard had to dig deeper. This, it's not as physical, but it's still a very busy job. He was laid off 10 months ago and looked for ways to round out his skills. Fill the rest of this one up. So he began baking. Right now it's baking donuts, <laughs> which is a huge change. And that's just part of it. Even as a kid, I loved to draw and color and paint. And I don't know, I was always very artistic. He decorates too. Coming back here gave me a new outlet. <laughs> they are good. I don't think I'll go back. <laughs> you have a wonderful day. I really love it here. Now, you can't be in Kentucky and not talk about bourbon. This distillery opened two months ago. The owners wanted to build here specifically to help coal miners who were out of work. A blessing for people like Michael Preston. It, it's a completely different world. In the summer of 2014, after his 16th year working on reclamation projects, he decided to reclaim his own life. I told my wife, I said, I'm going to go back to school. And he did. He graduated in 2016. Got my associates in electrical technology, and then here I am. Preston made the decision to move on from all he knew. He landed here, Dueling Barrels Distillery. He's now the maintenance manager. You either sink or you swim. And the best part about it all for each one of them. It's a place that you don't dread getting up in the mornings to come to work. They got to keep their hearts. So this is where I, I was meant to be. Right where they belong. It's home. You know, you know. For the now, I'm Nicole Vowell.